Okay, what are we working on here today in the garage? Well, today we're just going to inspect the internals of a 1938 Ford three-speed top loader transmission. And what are you looking for while you inspect this? Well, we're looking for uh, bad gears, teeth off of gears, chips off of the gears. And as we spin that and look at that day, we see everything looks really good in this transmission. It's, the transmission being as old as it is and the condition it is is really really quite astounding this is really a, a very nice transmission so once you go through this what are your plans with this transmission well it goes on the back of my 38 Ford flathead three-speed or uh, flathead motor which I'm going to put into a 1931 Model A Vicky okay I so thought you guys might also like to see the uh, transmission mount and how this works these uh these bolts that go in the back of the transmission mount have a hole through the top of them. And the purpose for that is, is a wire goes through there. And every one of these has a hole in it that the wire goes in there. You put the transmission mount on. Maybe a little easier than that. And you put all the you put all the bolts in there. You take a hunk of wire like this, and it goes around every bolt. So the wire goes through every bolt. Through every belt bolt head. That's okay. why there's why there's two spots in that bolt head for the, for them to line up and the wire to go through. Okay. And what is the purpose of the wire? The purpose of the wire is to keep these bolts from backing out. If I these see. bolts back out and fall out of there, then in these old cars with the enclosed drive shaft. You had to remove the motor and transmission and or or pull the rear end out just to get to this bolt to tighten it up. So the old belling wire, as they say the old forge, was actually there and it served a very good purpose to keep the bolts from falling out. I see, because you don't have to remove everything. It's not like today's cars. Right, right. A lot simpler back then than it is today, I think. A bunch of guys might also like to see in front of this. I'm going to put a screwdriver in here and just imagine if the screwdriver was the clutch pedal you're pushing in. This is what's happening inside the transmission. You push it in, you disengage the clutch, you let it out, you engage the clutch. Shift to the next gear and that's the ins and outs of how a clutch is engaged and disengaged. Okay. This is also has the uh, 787006 transmission case, which is the highly sought after transmission case. It's not a 39 tranny, which is just a little bit better, but the gear ratios are all the same. And if you look down here, you'll see this little contraption. I got that idea out of Vern Tardell's Ford Transmission Service and Repair. Very good book. All of his books are very good. Just it takes a three quarter pipe, uh, that piece of pipe. And both of these holes are three-quarter pipe threads. And you put that in the bottom, stick it in your vise, and it puts it right here where you can work on it. it. Makes it very nice. I see. So you just use the pipe as a mount, basically. Exactly. If you would like to get your camera over here, I will show you here. The, uh, if you see the green, or I'm sorry, the gold band in here, that is a synchronizer. What, okay. And what that does is when you've got sliding gears, and when you're sh shifting from one gear to the next gear, hit the synchronizer, that lines the next gear up so it slides into a higher gear or lower gear. Okay. And that's how that works. All right. And there she goes. She's spinning, and she looks very good in there. I see no indications of any abuse ever on this transmission. So I think I will button it back up, put some uh, transmission lube in there, and put it back to work. It's, it's, it's a good training and ready to go. All right, is there anything else you're looking for on this transmission that might need service before you put it into use? Well, you want to check these trannies for cracks, stress cracks, especially in this area here. And in the front down in here sometimes they crack. But I don't think you'll find it on this tranny. Now this tranny was 37, 38, 39 it revised it a little bit and went from 39 
until 1952 for this type of transmission. Why well, I say that, they used this in the pickup trucks after 1939, because in 1940, Ford went from a four shift to a column three speed shift. So this transmission saw a lot of years of use. Good transmission. Excellent. Anything else you want to tell us about this? Not much more I can say right now. I can pretty much summarize it all up. It's a seven seven eight zero zero eight. Or I'm sorry, seven eight zero zero six transmission case. That's almost the one everybody's looking for. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and uh, we upload a new video every week on this channel. So please comment and tell us what you think. Thank you.